Well, it is Hispanic Heritage Month, and today we're taking a look at the shared histories of Chicago and Puerto Rico. More than 100,000 Puerto Ricans call Chicago home, and the Museum of Contemporary Art is paying homage to that bond. Leanne Trotter shows us how. Visual artist Edra Soto is known for her exploration of Puerto Rican vernacular architecture, which is reflective of the island's history. Her sculpture is a bus shelter, and curator Carla Acevedo Yates encourages visitors to sit down and read the adjacent poem. A lot of these forms are actually um, African forms that came, you know, from West Africa and traveled to the Caribbean. Edra Soto is one of 18 Puerto Rican artists with work featured in the MCA's newest exhibition, Entre Horizontes, Art and Activism Between Chicago and Puerto Rico. Well, in Puerto Rico, um, art has always been um, a channel or a pathway to think about the islands um, and the archipelago's social and political condition as belonging to, but not a part of the United States. In addition to social justice, the show also traces migration patterns. So sometimes these stories focus on eastern states like New York and Florida, and they forget about the Midwest, and there's a very important historic migration of Puerto Ricans. Artist Bibiana Suarez's drawing shows Puerto Rico Rico's status as small and vulnerable after Congress refused to recognize the island's right to self-determination in 1991. Since I was talking about the island being beaten by unstable political situation, then I was beating the paper with this extractive method, with an eraser. Uh, and there are other artists here in the show that also make a point of emphasizing the technical aspects as a way, again, to speak about a particular issue. Entre Horizontes will be up at the MCA through May 5th. Leanne Trotter, NBC5 News. Looks amazing. Thanks, Leanne.